Over the past 12 months, ALC has strengthened its position as the leading voice for Australia's logistics industry. A particular focus has been to communicate to governments the benefits of efficient, safe and productive supply chains. We are determined to highlight the economic and social benefits of policies that support, not hinder, Australia's logistics industry. We all have an interest in this as consumers, customers, businesses and employees. ALC launched here in Canberra at Parliament House a landmark report to quantify the true size, scope and breadth of the Australian logistics industry. The report demonstrates the logistics industry is the backbone of the Australian economy. It confirmed the industry represents 8.6% of gross domestic product adds more than 130 billion to the Australian economy and employs 1.2 million Australians. The report also tells us that for every 1% increase in efficiency, the Australian economy will be boosted by 2 billion. This report will serve as the basis for ALC's advocacy efforts for a number of years to come. It was one of a number of achievements for ALC in 2014 as we continue to work on behalf of our members to ensure our industry's needs are recognised by all governments. Over the past 12 months, ALC has increased its membership, with ALC now representing many of the country's major logistics customers, providers, infrastructure owners and suppliers. Hosted a major supply chain safety and compliance summit to help bring about cultural change in the industry provided government with industry's feedback on critical policy and legislative issues through formal submissions and other advocacy channels. ALC also reviewed the National Logistics Safety Code of Practice with the aim of strengthening and improving the code. From an industry perspective, an ALC GS1 Working Group won a National Freight Industry Award. ALC also released important guidelines that will improve the management and flow of pallets along the supply chain. And of course, earlier this month, we hosted another successful ALC annual forum. The forum saw government and industry leaders come together over two days at the Melbourne Cricket Ground to discuss and debate the critical issues facing the logistics industry. The forum looked at how to meet the infrastructure challenge, advance chain of responsibility, harness private sector investment, better integrate our ports and intermodal terminals and take advantage of advances in technology. Speakers highlighted the important things ALC must continue to keep fighting for on behalf of our members, including nationally significant logistics infrastructure, greater certainty on planning for freight, eliminating overlapping regulations which affect productivity and ensuring there is a whole of supply chain focus on strategic corridors. Greater action across these areas will boost supply chain efficiency. On behalf of the ALC board and team, I look forward to working with you in 2015, as we continue to work with all governments to get the outcomes our industry needs to be more efficient, safe and productive for the benefit of all Australians.